So why Antarctica? What was there? I mean, it was my childhood dream to, to travel to Antarctica. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, Antarctica is the place, uh, it's secluded. Right. You know, not many people have been there. I think mm -hmm. in total, like 20,000 people have just have been right. there. So it's like this, this one of the very few untouched places in the world, and I really wanted to see it. So you're a TV journalist, save up a few bucks, why not just... Fly from Berlin to Antarctica, and you're there. Yeah, okay, Antarctica doesn't have an airport, so you, you, have to, you go to uh, Argentina, and then you have to okay. take a very expensive luxury cruise ship. It costs like about eight to ten thousand dollars to just go from Argentina to. Oh, is that right? Yes. Okay. So, so, right. and I wanted to, to see the world. I okay. wanted to travel the world. So, what's the biggest problem with having no? No money. <laughs> What's the biggest problem? Is it having no I mean, money? Is that the biggest problem? That is the biggest problem, Zimmer. Well, you Zimmer. have to do other things. What was your first, what was your first problem? Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I, I mean I, there were a lot of problems. Yeah. Uh, um, after two days, you know, I was hitchhiking in Germany. I started in, in Berlin. Okay. And uh, someone um, took me on the, on the German freeway. And I had to go and uh, pee at one stage. And uh, so I went in, into the, the gas station. And it cost 50 cents. To, to just go to the toilet, and you know, and, and the lady was like, "No, you're, you're not getting in for free." And I was like, "Okay, I want to go to Antarctica for free." And, uh, and she's like, no, "No, no, you're not getting in." So, so I had to go into the bushes at the end. But yeah, aren't there a lot of forests like, in Germany you can kind of go into? Yeah, yeah. It, you know, at the autobahn, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, but, yeah. but it was, you know, the little things could have could could be very very difficult in that trip. Well, how did you eat? You have no money. Um, okay, there were different options. Uh, the first one was uh, dumpster diving. Dumpster diving. Dumpster diving. Yeah. yeah. So you have supermarkets with like dumpsters, big dumpsters, right. and um, I, I went in there by night. You have to go over a fence. You know, mm. go into the dumpster. It's you know, it's it's not so nice. You yeah. know. You sound like a cheap date. <laughs> like, like a cheap date. Yeah. Okay, better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then in the dumpster, yeah. you know, it, it's obviously not comfortable, but there is a lot of stuff in there, still sealed. A lot of good food. In it, yeah. Good sure, food, yeah. still not expired, like right. milk, I got cheese sealed. Milk and, it, and cheese from a dumpster, you know. <laughs> it makes me want to travel more and more. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, so, did you sleep in the dumpster as well? Uh, no, no, I didn't sleep in the dumpster. Um, um, so you have continental breakfast when you wake up. It's it, it would have been good, sure. Okay, maybe next time, maybe yeah. next time. Yeah. Right? Um, no, the, the sleeping part, um, okay. I had a computer on me, yeah. like a little computer. I could, I could log into free Wi-Fi networks in all okay. in co countries. And there is a very interesting internet page. It's called couchsurfing.org. Mm -hmm. People have their profile, like, like on Facebook. Yeah? But, it's, uh, you know, but, but you can write to people and say, look, I want to sleep on your couch for free. You know, people offer their house and their couch. And I've done that a lot of times, and, and people let me stay in their houses for free. Okay. Yeah. So now... You must have, did you learn? <laughs> I mean, would you have invited me? No. Um, well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, okay. okay. I am awful lonely these days. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm, I, I'm down for couch surfing, definitely. I'm sure. Yeah. Did, you, did you earn money along the way so you could buy things or eat? Yes, I had a back, backup plan whenever things didn't, okay. didn't work out. Yeah. I offered services. Yeah, I, I offered services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a man, so that kind of service was difficult. Yeah, but I offered yeah. different, oh, different kind of. <laughs> so what service? What, what 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 did you do to earn money? Um, so pillow fighting. I offered pillow fighting. I had no, to is that what this is? Pillow fighting. Now what yes. is? Yes. Okay. There, there it, it's me with a sign. Pillow fighting for a dollar. So I had two pillows in my hand, yeah. and I offered people. Look, if if, if, if you fight me with a pillow. Uh, you, you just chip in a dollar, and uh, it, it worked out quite well. And how many people would fight you on a daily basis for a dollar? Um, like, uh, like daily basis, about 50. 50? 50. 50 people in San, in San Francisco, and there Oh, San Francisco, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm surprised you didn't make $5,000. <laughs> now, explain this one. What is this, the human sofa? What is that? That, that was in Vegas. Uh, the human sofa, you know, it's very hot there, 100 degrees. Tourists want to have a seat. Yeah. So I offered the human sofa. They could sit on my back, also for a dollar. Um, was, yeah, was, was a good business. It was a very good business. Now this one, this other business, the hill helper. What, 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 yeah. what is the thinking there? Yeah, a lot of steep hills, especially San Francisco again. And, you know, people who, who, who want to go up to Lombard Street, you know, they sweat, they're tired. Yeah. And so I pushed them up. That's just, a picture. That's just a picture on a slant, right? What, what no, do you mean? No. <laughs> like, like this, huh? No, no, it, it's, it's really like... You, uh, you push them up the hill. All right. Yes, I push so, them up. So did any of these ideas fail, these creative ideas? Or you... uh, yeah, a, cu a couple failed. Um, I went in uh, Santa Monica to the beach. Mm -hmm. I, I needed to uh, have a ticket to San Francisco, so I offered the service of uh, sun creaming. 
sun, sun creaming people's bags. Yeah. Oh, and, or and putting sun, sun, sun cream. Yeah? And, yeah. and the man said right away, look, leave. <laughs> you don't need to sun cream my bag. Definitely yeah. not. And the women said, look, look, you don't need to do that. Either just take the dollar and leave. So, so I got, yeah, so, so I got yeah. 20, $20 so, by doing nothing. Right, just so by leaving. Just by getting out of people's way. Here's, here's a buck. Get out of here. You get wow. out of here. So, yeah. so I, what was the best experience on this trip? What was the best part of it? Um, I mean, I've, I've met a lot of nice, and really interesting and helpful people. People. Sure. And, and I've, uh, uh, in, in Ohio, for example, I met uh, the Amish farmers, the, the horse buggy sure. farmers. You know, they live without internet, without uh, electricity, and they let, let me stay in their barn for a couple of days. I could I could film there. I, I, I could uh, talk to them, and at the end of, of the stay, they gave me three presents, unexpected. First, a Bible because mm -hmm. they thought I'm too, too secular. Then a hundred dollars okay. I could spend later on for a bus ticket, and they gave me a bike. So I could I could ride through um, Ohio well, to, to Columbus nice. and then sell the bike. Wow, so, that's very nice. yeah. so, and what was the hardest part? What was the hardest part of the journey? We just went, ah, this is okay. Um, you know, after the United States, I went to Central America and then mm -hmm. South America, and in Peru, I wanted to see. I wanted to see Machu Picchu, the Inca town of Machu Picchu. Yes. And you have to go a five-day hike. It's like 50 miles, 14,000 meter, 14,000 feet altitude. It's like a very tough hike. And I offered a service as a porter, so to, oh. to, to carry the luggage of the tourists. Yeah? And so, you know, this agency sure. said, okay, you're going to be the porter with, with the Peruvians. And I was not trained at all. So <laughs> I was not trained. So I, I was like a, a bad porter. And bad porter. I, a bad porter. And I was uh, very slow. Okay. And, and the Peruvian porters basically said, look, you know, you really have to speed up because yeah. the tourists getting annoyed. Or so here's a dollar. Go away. You, you go away. <laughs> Just go back where you're coming okay, from. So you make it to Antarctica. Yeah. Was that a great moment? Yes, I was very excited because, you know, I had planned this trip for a year, then traveled half a right. year, so it was after one and a half years to really come to the secluded place, you know, it's really so yeah. impressive. And you, and we have some, now you did this what, with a handheld camera, and you're just filming yourself like this? Yes, film, right. filming myself. Let's take a look. I've reached Antarctica, <laughs> yes, I finally made it, I can't believe it, it happened. I traveled 35,000 Ks within 150 days. And over a hundred people, very nice and generous people, helped me on this trip, and I'm really happy. Wow, there you go. How to travel the world for free. I did it, you can do it too. Michael, thank you, my hey, friend. Thank you.